Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, in which we're exploring a unique mod called Time Machine USA, in which, what if we took a bunch of modern people from 2020, 2021, and just threw them back into 1936? So, as you can tell, we are led by Daddy President Donald Trump, and there's many other leaders that we can choose from, hopefully, later on. But we have a unique focus tree in which we shall begin with either canceling the elections, or we're going to hold elections just because it makes some more sense for us right now. The turn in 1936 added one more problem to our failing or falling country. The only way to avoid a big civil war is to hold the elections to preserve American stability. I wonder what's going to happen now. Uh, because this is it, within the first two minutes, I wonder what I can get away with saying and what I can't get away with saying without being demonetized or having this video taken down because you never know with YouTube. I've already set a lot of things up such as factories. Uh, I've set up the Navy to a degree. I've set up our Air Force to a degree. Um, other mods we're using are the State Chancellor Tool mod, which is at the top of your screen, as well as player-led peace conferences, because why not? It's one of the best mods. It was absolutely essential. We start with quite a few 17 divisions, and you know who I think would be a great field marshal? Donald Trump would be a great field marshal with skill 6. Attack. I think that's just perfect. Attack, attack, attack. Now, we have some infantry here as well, and... Ted Cruz, Alex Jones, Donald Trump Jr., <laughs> there's Mike Pence, and Tucker Carlson, who's an armor officer. Um, oh, God. I won't, I, I'm not sure who to use. Oh, he's level, I don't want, I don't really feel like using Donald Trump Jr. I want to save him for something else, but level four tech. Oh, Ted Cruz, I got to go with Alex Jones. I just got to go with Alex Jones. And this army also has a bunch of infantry as well. Infantry leaders will go with the Lion Ted Cruz. Oh boy, the elections. November 3rd, 1936, or February 5th, 1936, Election Day. Once every four years, America chooses who's going to lead them for the next term. Candidates Joe Biden and Donald Trump both have vastly different policies, but increasingly polarized America gives them equal around equal support. Joe Biden, he's the best. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Moderate politician. And I haven't showed you guys yet. But I'll talk about that a little bit. Donald Trump, four more years. Keep America great, more political power, social liberals become irrelevant. The thing is about this time machine mod is that we have the... <clears throat> okay, we're, the, we're past the two-minute mark. Uh, the coronavirus. So we have to destroy the coronavirus and do stuff like that. We have the political situation where we have Trumpists, Christian conservatives, neocons, libertarians, centrists, social liberals, uh, social democrats, greens, and Antifa, Latinos, okay, and the black community, but I guess... There's no white people or Asians? Whatever. Denounce fake news. <laughs> we get more war support and traditional propaganda. Oh, that's not bad. Weekly stability. Even though usually there's about how many weeks? Five? Five weeks? Six weeks? Seven weeks? Seven weeks? So for seven weeks, you get 0.7 more stability. That's really not worth it in my opinion. Uh, war propaganda. Oh, my goodness. I I'll be honest. I haven't played this at all off screen. This is my first time playing the Time Machine USA mod, so I don't know what this is about too much, but... We can core and integrate. Oh my gosh, I have to do that. But since we this guy's on the thumbnail, we've got to go with Donald Trump. And to let you all know, I will be playing as Joe Biden very soon as well at the time of this recording. So let's see. Oh, and before we get too far with the next focus, we have the national spirit of coronavirus, which really sucks. I don't know, man. Monthly population minus 90%. I don't know if it go down that much. 90% is quite a bit. Hurts stability, construction speed, recruitable population factor. We've got a paralyzed economy, which makes perfect sense. We've got riots. Who doesn't love a riot, right? And we won't be able to stop the riots until we get rid of every hostile political group. And we have unstable politics. Ah, who needs stability here? Uh, victory for Joe Biden, which we'll see in a different campaign. We have the American Army, which isn't bad. We can develop a vaccine. We'll start producing the vaccine. Increase production. Or do we do crush the protests? Antifa will become irrelevant. Remove hostile Antifa. Um, industrial production, eh, let's start developing the vaccine first. I think that's probably important, right? The coronavirus is destroying America. We must develop a vaccine to stop it or it will destroy our country. Well, it is what it is. Also, like I said, we have some cohorts here um, that have that have made it back to 1936 with us, including Donald Trump Jr., Mike Pence, Amy Barrett, which she gives me more unaligned. Uh, traditionalists, that's okay. Who's Jonas Roberts? With Donald Trump, who's, a, who's part of the Demo Democracy Democratic Group ideology, Socialist Democrats led by Communist Bernie Sanders, and <clears throat> Neo-Confederates Richard Spencer. Okay, so we can go down the line. I like that political power. How much do we get right now? Well, that's not bad. One a day is not bad. Jeb Bush, of course, Daddy Jeb Bush. We have Joe Biden, the centrist. 
We have Ben... Oh, Ben Carson as well here. The black community needs to be friendly for us to get Ben Carson, okay? Uh, glorious Social Democrat Bernie Sanders. We got Jill Stein, Carl Friedrich Goldler. I don't know who that is. Uh, Melania Trump, Queen of America. And more daily support for Unaligned and John White. And uh, here... <clears throat> Dick Cheney, huh? Well, whatever. Help fix our country. Donald Trump wins the elections. On election night, millions of Americans sat in front of their radios, w waiting for a, a result. After what seemed like years of vote tabulation, the winners finally cleared. Republican Donald Trump has won the election. Running on his policies of conservatism and America first, his second term will be sure to shape the future of America. And we can only go to early mobilization. Oh, that's better than isolationism in 1936. And the research producers are here, which don't give us very much. I like that daily compliance. That's actually really nice. Oh, actually, you know what? Donald Trump Jr. is not bad. Just because you get 5% more political power gain and construction speed. I hope the comments for this video are going to be nice and friendly. <clears throat> and I, ho I hope I can monetize this. I don't know. You never know with big old YouTube. So, But more construction speed does help out. And getting slightly more political power, it's, it's okay. It's not worth it sometimes, but um, hmm, it's all right. It's like to where you use a vac. Why would I use a vaccine in Ohio? I mean, and next, hello, Libertarian America has Ohio as a core. Um, 6.64 million people. Oh, actually, Pennsylvania. I'm just looking at the population right now. Uh, New York would be, probably be good to do. Illinois is seven. Indiana is three. Tennessee is two. Not much. Texas has 5.8. California only has five. That's less than Texas, huh? Okay, cool. Develop a vaccine. That's probably a good thing to... Destroy the virus. Protect the economy. Oh. Oh, which one do we want? Secure our industry, which isn't bad, or end the pandemic. Huh. Well, I kind of want to get rid of that as fast as possible. Research speed would not be bad. Un new universities would not be bad. Let's go with destroy the virus. Oh, actually, though, I am going to play as Joe Biden later on afterwards. Oh. I just don't think this is worth it for anyone. Like, protecting the economy? So people don't starve and use some of our resources to make the vaccine? I don't know. I mean, honestly, if this military factory construction speed would be good. Oh, man. With protecting the economy or destroy the virus. I mean, I want to do mass production. I, I would do this if they said civilian factory construction speed plus 50%. Then I would do it, but... We're not, we don't really want to go to war, do we? We'll destroy the virus for this one. We must use all of our industry to create more and more vaccines so we can eliminate the coronavirus as fast as possible. I might choose the same one when I play as, uh, you know, Joe Biden, but we'll see what happens. Good for Turkey. Oh, so we can buy more vaccines. We get three vaccine packages. Increase production. Uh, what else do we have down here? Didn't announce. You know, I kind of want to build stuff a little bit faster. Let's just go ahead and go to early mobilization. We need more 25% war support. Oh, we're pretty close. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and denounce fake news. So we got up to that much more. And, oh wait, crush ideals. Crush, oh, crush riots. Okay. Well, we do have riots. And there's probably going to be a civil war. Now, am I talking about real life America or in, like this mod America? Probably both. But, in the meantime, let's have a good time with electronic mechanical engineering. <clears throat> mechanical computing, 260 days. Or trying to get some ship holes just because uh, Daddy Donald Trump probably likes his ships nice and thick. Anyways, uh... Now I'm going to partial mobilization. There you go. Ah, very nice. I think you, 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 you. And we're doing, we're doing pretty well over here. We're trying to make a few more divisions as well. We need more chromium and a rubber. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, not bad, yeah. And you know what? I love these shorter focuses. It feels good, but let's go ahead and crush a protest. The protests against a president are supported by radical socialists in the deep state. <laughs> we must crush those libtards and bring safety to our streets. <clears throat> oh, man. Uh, you know, why can't we just all get together and have a nice barbecue? You know, just enjoy each other. Also, we're building up factories in North Carolina, Georgia, Indiana, Wisconsin, Minnesota. <sighs> that word. Oh, oh, still producing more of the vaccine. Great. Oh, wait, so mass production. Oh, we do have that available. Second London Naval... Man, who cares? Who cares about Europe? We get oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, let's try that. Why not? Buy more vaccines. Use the factories. Let's help it. Uh, it's not bad. I want to maybe buy more vaccines. So, what can I... Oh, so we just choose each state. Okay. We need two vaccines. Why would I choose Nebraska first? Oh. You know what? I want to inject Texas with needles, so... 
So they, oh, so we should look at the modifier for the the Rona virus. Uh, you know what? I said he wants a big battleship. We're gonna go with the biggest battleship possible. Now let's grab some dispersed industry because that's always pretty good to do. Do we have anything out of date? Just a bunch of ships. Oh darn it. Well, if that's the case, let's see. 10% attack in core territory. More political power because Christian conservatives. Indifferent, indifferent, indifferent. Social Democrats, hostile, 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 indifferent. And black community does not like us. It is what it is. Alright, anything else here? Um, we got his son into office, which I'm not going to comment on. Appeal to black conservatives? We can get Ben Carson or... Wow. Um... That is quite the leap, going appealing to black conservatives versus supporting these other people. Um, a one-party state, I mean, technically, we probably already have it. Eh, this sounds like a fun path to go down towards, but I, 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 I don't know, man. I, I think, oh, we'll do what Donnie does too much of, maybe. The, ra the racial protests are a big problem. We appeal to black conservatives, then give them power in the government. We will appease some of the protesters and get some support from the black community. Okay, unstable politics with a, a great America. Oh, they'll just become indifferent. And we can befriend the black community. Why not? And it's time to buy more vaccines, reduce the effects of the pandemic. Okay. So after Texas... Okay, so we got Texas done. Um, who do we want to disinfect? Washington? No. Florida. Florida. We need to make sure that the, the Florida men are okay down there. Okay, so... Oh, the UK wants to limit naval rearmament. Our recent efforts to build a larger fleet to propel us among the great ranks of major naval powers... The UK clearly feels threatened by our expanded fleet and has sent a delegation to our capital to negotiate a mutual arms limitation treaty. The treaty will be modeled on the Second London Naval Treaty and restrict the size of our capital ships as well as limit our overall fleet size and capital ships to not exceed the fleet of the UK. Simtrack says, what the heck? This is America first, son. No way. Go stick your carrier somewhere else. You go limit yourself. We're going to get some big, thick ships. Alrighty, tidy. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, good. All three of them. Oh, we got 158 ships. I'm not even going to bother with looking at that. There you go. That's a nice little one. Split you in half. Construction one. You know what? We'll split these guys down up and again. There you go. Let's see. Split you in half. This is how I don't normally do the, my naval stuff here, but I think well, it'll be all right. And these, at this point, these guys are just like death stacking, so whatever. All right. Let's grab some more excavation. We like digging in the dirt for lots of materials. All righty tidy. Uh, that's really just not worth it. Point seven more is not worth it. Prospect for resources. I I want I want Canada. I want Canada. Man, can we all come together and say Canada should be part of the United States of America? Then maybe we can work on Mexico. You know, maybe that could be a cool thing to do. We have six vaccine packages. Well, since I did say I did live in the state of Indiana, I got to do it. Sorry. Sorry, Ohio, but not really. So do they have the infected state max. Oh, max factors in a state recruitable population factor. Oh. Available resource costs in local construction? If that's the case, I didn't realize that the virus is this deadly. Man, I swear, I try to avoid playing modern politics games, or political games. Oh, they go Spain. Actually, can we send volunteers? Uh, New York might not be bad because they have so many industry. California? Oh, they have a lot of people. I'm going to actually do New York first. Just because... Oh, well, once we get more vaccines, mass production. That's fine. Go and spend our little PP over there. Let's do New York. And they'll do California because they have a lot of resources. Appeal to black conservatives. Do we crush the libtards? America first. I like that peepee. -pee. Absorb the libertarians. Become, ooh, we get friendly libertarians for more construction speed. And smart small companies. America great. It's protectionism. Yeah, he lacks protectionism. The, the wall with three L's. We have to build a wall. A very big wall. Wow. I love it. Oppose Latin American communism. Befriend the Latinos. American glory. Huh. No, we can't do that one. We can't go down militarism either. And American economy. And I'll show you more of this focus tree once we get there, but let's go ahead and get this, because I like construction speed. Libertarians only care about money. If we promise them lower taxes and support some libertarian conservatives, well, we may just get their support now. Can we support these guys? Oh, we can't, because we're democratic. God dang it. I hate being democracies, or democratic nations. <sighs> A big sadness. It just hurts my heart to see that. Why... We're America. Why can't we get involved in other people's politics? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, we can befriend the black community. Uh, sure. That actually makes a lot more sense to do so. We get, you know, it says 10% more recruitable population factor. Why is it not 13%? I think the black population is 13% of the nation, right? So that actually could be kind of cool. It was actually 13%. Why not? We can get him next. And by him, I mean talking about the, the Ben Benny here. Who is it? Benny. He's a captain of industry. 
Which actually will be perfect since we want to build roads, we want to build infrastructure, so... It works out. It just works. Alright, very nice. Vaccination campaigns. Alright, seven packages, not bad. Alright, so we did that. Alright, California, you're going to have to get little injections here and there. We got some of these big boy shipperinos. Uh, this stuff is all ahead of time. Well, we're kind of lacking in the fighter production, so let's go and grab some of that. After this... Oh, factory output. That's fine. For three more vaccines, that's totally cool to use. Who do I want to do? So we've done each coast. We've got these California. We've done New York. We've done Florida. We've done Texas. We've done Indiana. Michigan. Does Michigan deserve it? Maybe. All right. Who wants the needles? Uh, let's go to Nevada. Nevada's a crazy place. Eh, maybe not too crazy. Just kind of weird. And we're making more ships, too. Yeah. Why does it... Is it my developer from Ohio? I don't know. It keeps bringing me back to Ohio, and I'm like, no. No thanks. Let's just go to my birthday. I will do that. Increase production. One is not worth it. When you do like use the factories or whatever else we have. Oh look at that. Support private property. We lose political power and consumer goods. That's, that's not bad. Absorb the libertarians. Very cool. Well, what do we have down here? Secure pop popular support. A new candidate always false. Bypass other nineteen thirty nine elections. Four more years. Denounce fascism. Lead the demo democracies. Recreate NATO. Huh. Join the Allies. Prepare for... Hold on, prepare for... Hold on. Hello. Joe Biden. Embrace centrism. Reject boring policies. I kind of like... Embrace radical centrism. Oh. Monarchist autocrat. He becomes the leader of the Communist Party and non-aligned party and... Uh, I told you this focus is weird, man. The legitimate... What the heck? Baron's coup? China. Secure the British. Oh, good lord. So, the. A kingdom of America. Uh, let's just go and crush the libtards then. There are a lot of libtards in this country that won't stop us. We must show them that we're the greatest president and then crush them. Oh, we just, just, just buy more vaccines. Support private property is okay, but I don't want to lose any more political power for now because I just want to buy. We're going to spend a lot of money. All right, so next stop is going to be the state that one of my Discord mods lives in. So we're going to go to uh, Georgia. Deep in the Floridian Everglades, a mystery has emerged. Famous scientist and explorer Paul Greg Peng accidentally came across what seemed to be a time machine in the middle of a swamp. The discovery was quickly brought to a research laboratory where scientists and professors have been studying it. They've asked the U.S. government for funding to help try to figure out more about this strange machine. We're going to investigate more. We should have bigger problems. Um... Like I said, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I have not tried this off screen. So, <laughs> why not? Let's try it out. Artillery? Uh, nah. Superior firepower? I love that superior firepower. It's very good stuff. Anything over here? Oh, yeah, very nice stuff. Uh, There you go. There you go. Train. Train indefinitely. Train until you die. Oh, yeah, we have no general here. That's fine. Or admiral. Actually, we have Marcus Williams, which is not really neat. Lucas Roberts. Yeah, this mod is very wacky. You should see, if you have Hoi4, you should download the mod and look at the GFX folder for the portraits of who can lead America, or the leaders. It's wild, man. It's just kind of crazy. Just nuts. Alright, so it's almost 1936. Oh, it's supposed to be election time now, but whatever. Oh, oh actually, where are my planes at? I put them in California. Go and duplicate them all. Alright, fighter wings. Uh, if that's the case, who actually... Well, one, two, three, boom, boom. There you go. Got a few more divisions. Alex Jones is leading one of the armies. God, that is a weird thing to say. Tactical bombers, there you go. Naval bombers, you just kind of hang on out. We got some more unassigned divisions. Go ahead and train as well. And we got excavation one, not bad. Let's grab some resource or synthetic oil experiments as well. And how are we building? Oh, we're we building all right. And we're building Minnesota, Wisconsin. And all right, where do I want to inject people with some good stuff as well. South Carolina still has a virus. Oh, what is this? Support black neighborhoods. Okay, give us a civilian factor. That's not too bad. Mm, but do we want to do that? Do we really want to do that? That's 3%, 70 days. It costs 50 political power. I'd just rather get more vaccines, I'll be honest. But you know what? Let's do it once. Let's at least do it once. Let's do... We're going to hit through the south and maybe go up this way, swing ourselves around, maybe get to Kentucky. We'll start from this side, since we've already done a lot of it, so... We crushed the libtards, which is... Okay. <laughs> uh, America first. We have to focus on our country. America is more important than any other country in the world. Stability, war, sport, political power. Amen. All right, so we crushed the social democrats. 
The cost, more political, well, I don't like more cost. We won't lower the cost. Crush the greens, we lost research. All right, we'll do that too. Oh, buy more Mexico. Oh, we're always out of our PP. Uh, all right, so we're not, oh, wow, we're not building a jack squat right now. Actually, are we building, are we still researching the holes? No, we're not. I don't remember the last time I actually even tried to use. Oopsie. Oh, god dang it. Super heavy battleship holes. Uh, where are you? Super heavies. There you go, my son. There we go. So get rid of this garbage. That's all garbage. This stuff, I'll, we'll look, take a look at that. Uh, Brooklyn, oh, oh, Brooklyn class? What's the difference between Brooklyn class? So, this is an early cruiser. Well, we can't really tell. 1936 cruiser, it doesn't really matter. It's just the name, I think. So, boom, boom. Goodbye. I'm not using level 2 stuff here. Or level 1 stuff, I mean. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, so this is much easier. Alright, so since we've got this much... Oh my goodness. My apologies for this. It's going to take a while. This is how I like to set up my, my ship's up. Fire control. No radar. Engine's fine. Grab some of that. Super heavy armor. This is going to be a nice slow ship, though. Uh, do this one. That'll just slow us down even more. Lots of anti-air. Even more anti-air. Throw on... I like these things, too. And then... Super heavy battleships. Eh. 21. That's pretty god-awfully slow. Eh, we'll build some carriers, too. Why not? All right. We like them nice and thick. After that, the Wichita class cruiser hole. Oh, you're you're a capital ship. What? No. What? You guys are a heavy ship. Wichita, what you, what you why are you lying to me? Are you? Ah, oh, whatever. Um, I'm gonna actually replace you with this, and this one I'm gonna actually replace you with that, and then this one I'm gonna. Re oh, wait, well, maybe not. Instead of this one, we're gonna go ahead and grab. There's no torpedo. No. Torpedo launchers are not bad. Uh, I would use these guys for anti-air mostly, so. Rapid fire guns, like cruiser batteries. Like cruiser batteries. Level 2. My apologies for taking so long with this. It's just a necessary evil for this part. And there you go. Oh, cruiser armor. Wait, we have cruiser armor 3 already. How? Wait. Wait, wait what's your. Oops, wrong one. Was it the New Orleans class I just did? There we go, yeah. Get rid of you. You're garbage. There we go, that's a little better. So we got those two. Do we want subs? Eh, you know what? I'm not interested in making subs until we get subs three or four. And we might as well make some carriers, right? Uh, usually I like throwing on deck armor. But for now, let's not do that just because it's already in place. I'm not going to mess with it. So there you go. That should be good enough for now. Let's build some more. Okay, please. Don't use that. There you go. That's better. There we go. Just in case. Uh, we'll import some more chromium too. I love turkey. Oh, wait, can we not? Oh, can we not import anything? Uh-oh. Oh, the time machine explodes. Whoa, in the middle of the night, there was a loud explosion in the laboratory. Miraculously, no one was hurt, but this has only made more people curious about the origins of the machine. As cleanup crews cleaned up the wreckage around the laboratory, or laboratory, the machine continued to make strange sounds, seeming to be whirling. We must stop the investigation. Oh, I want more. No. Oh, wow. That really hurt us really badly. Then again, we're crushing the Greens and Social Democrats. A mis mysterious man. Midday, as the crews continued to clean up the wreckage, a man was spotted on the top of the time machine. He was immediately assumed to be a usual idiotic Florida man, but upon further inves inspection, he seems to be a lot more mysterious. Claiming to be Teddy Roosevelt, he seeks an audience with the President of the U.S. The President accepted the offer, and they plan to meet at the White House in the coming days. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to do Southern States because we can. Th oh. Oh no, Theodore Roosevelt's alive. The meeting between the President and Teddy Roosevelt first seemed to be doing well, but midway through, the bull moose stormed out in rage. Since he was discovered, his popularity grew tremendously, and as he toured and gave speeches across the nation, the excitement around him only grew. Today, he announced the foundation of the bull moose party and promised to change the challenge president and be elected surprising. Well, we get. Oh, Operation. Open a national perk. Okay, so they're friendly. Okay, that is. Po okay, we get more weekly stability? Okay. Oh, yeah, why not? Oh, so we got more vaccines. Let's go and put them in Arizona, too. And New Mexico. Sorry, guys. You're not getting it over here in the south yet. We got to... By the south, I'm thinking not just what used to be the only part of the south, but we're thinking about this part of Arizona, New Mexico, you know, the real, true American south, which includes Southern California, I guess. So we got those guys injected. I guess we'll do Louisiana. Do, we, do they need vaccines in Louisiana? Hmm. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at that manpower. Because we keep injecting people with needles, we get more manpower. Not bad. Fighters, not bad. Let's grab some uh, more construction speed and then more output as well. That'd be very good, actually. Uh, anything here? Go ahead. Thank you. We need more guns. 
It's such a shame to say it's America. Or American. Oh, we can crush riots? I hope this doesn't backfire on me. Oh, we got more population because the black community likes us. Yay. America first. All right. Well, support small companies. Small companies suffered the most during the racial protests. We should support, must support, and compensate them. Yeah, more stability. We get civilian and a military factory. Um, I don't mind doing that, but there's, is there really any point doing that? Since the Bull Moose Party just gives us more weekly stability anyways, so... Neoconservatives are indifferent. You know what? Maybe that's a good thing. With this such political power, I don't care. Just buy more vaccines. Uh, radio? Radio detection would be better than us. And let's go inject these guys. And we'll inject, maybe inject those guys. Private property. Uh, it's just not worth it. All right. Very good. Reduce the effects of the pandemic. All of our states. Boy, do we need to do Puerto Rico as well? No. Uh, is Alaska considered a state or a it's a core. That's I like to see. And Hawaii? Oh, you're not... What? How's Alaska state, but Hawaii isn't? Hmm. Very odd. Uh, not too bad. The South is pretty good. I guess we'll go to Tennessee, and then we'll go to Kentucky next. It's fine with me. I would love to do that, but man, that's really nice. France and Britain announced an alliance. Hope they're paying their fair share. Mass production, might as well. All right, so we could probably use more factories as well, but I like to build up some infrastructure as well in some of my campaigns. I'm really wondering what's going to happen between the meeting between T Teddy Roosevelt and Donald Trump, because right now we're getting more stability, and Teddy Roosevelt already stormed out of the Capitol building, so or out of the White House, whatever. Um, they might not like each other for a while. Buy more. Uh, you know what? Vaccination, Wyoming. Wyoming is now part of the South. Hmm. I just want to inject people, man. <sighs> All right, guys. Um, this probably feels a little bit more fitting to do it like this. There we go. I really hope there's some more interaction between us and Mexico, but uh, can't you someone else? Yeah, I mean, let's go get uh, Ben Carson. Why not? Support small companies sounds like a good idea. How about a great America? Oh, oh, get even more political power. Nice. And more daily democracy support. We don't have to make America great because it already is great. Trump policies have been a success. The Chinese united front forms. But now our country is even better. So. A great America? Not bad. More daily democracy support. we got to stamp out the Bernard Sanders as well as Richard Spencer. Even though in the game files and the portraits there is David Duke as well. And I only know him because I played Red World. And Jonas Robert, huh? Shang-Chi? Oh boy, China's unifying. That's not a good sign for us. China. Actually, do we have... Oh, we can't buy any more stuff yet. There we go. Buy more vaccines. Alright, where do we stick our needles? Um, maybe with Joe Biden's campaign, I won't choose mass production. Maybe we'll see what happens. Uh, who's part of the South? Missouri? Oh, Virginia. Oh, they, oh, they didn't even have West Virginia. <laughs> That's what you get, West Virginia. Anyway. Uh, I love West Virginia. What a great state. I really don't know what's going to happen. Like, are things going to explode? Oh, Kansas is part of the South, right? Naturally part of Kansas. Missouri may be part of the South. Definitely Iowa is. Most definitely. And by South, I'm now referring to the entire United States. Whatever. Uh, oh, well, that's a few too many. Let's go and see. 60%. Oh, we have some infrastructure. Uh, let's see. 60, 40, 40, 30, 30, 40, 80%. Okay, we can do that. Oh, Ohio. Do they deserve it in Ohio? That means I need to vaccinate them so I get better effects on them. Let's go to wait in Ohio. Let's go to wait. Um, okay, Michigan. Let's keep it at least three at all times. Yeah, I'll do up here too. I don't know. I feel whenever... I'm still used to building civilian factories all the time. I'm not used to building military factories anymore since because of TNO, so... There you go. You can have them, Missouri. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. <sighs> Leadership purges. Ah, how great, America. Popular support. Collaborate with the Democrats? Why not? The Democrats are stupid libtards, but they are American libtards. <laughs> we should try to collaborate with them so we can bring more stability to our country. Sounds like a good idea. Let's inject some more people with... Not Ohio. And anywhere else? Ah! Idaho. Oh, promises of peace, open a new national park. I mean, we already have 92% stability. That's insane already. Ah, uh, dispersed industry would not be bad. And let's grab a few more things here with uh, extraction. Why not? And perhaps we shall grab some carrier planes because they're probably pretty darn useful. Well, I guess it's time. Interventionist policies in which we should intervene in other countries to avoid communism. Finally, America. The America I know. Interventionism is more max volunteer force Divisions require percent volunteer force minus 100%.
military factory construction speed, and the neocons become friendly. And which we get more recruitable population factor. Wow. Not too shabby, I'd say. But the world is looking pretty much normal as it would be in 1937. Right now, let's also see if we can vaccinate some more people right now. Where are we going to stick our needles, boys and girls? Well, hmm. Do we do want it over here, or do we want it over here? Well, let's take up DC. We don't like DC, do we? We might like DC. DC, even though it's actually technically supposed to be Maryland over here. You know. <sighs> okay, so maybe I should explain a libertarian America. So within the focus tree here, we've been focusing on the you know the Donald Trump path. Well, of course we have the victory of Joe Biden as well, which we'll get to later on, and we still got to do some of this stuff and end the pandemic. But. This is the other side here, too, with cancel the election, destroy the libtards, for reals. We can do conservative libertarians, of course, like we saw earlier, maybe. Defend Trump's legacy, to arms and Dixie, which sounds like a lot of fun, personally. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, hold, okay, so we have the Kingdom of America, which we saw earlier. We have a new confederacy, in which, ooh, you get more weekly war support, not bad. And then you have establish an American theocracy. Hum. Destroy the Islamic threat. Avenge Japanese Christians. Dominate the Barbarians. Tank Rome. The Fourth Rome. Whoa. Thank you, Maruka Stability. All roads lead to Rome. Wow. In which I know a certain somebody here would be become the leader if we went down that way. Support feminism. And down this way is oppose Trump. And you can do a new American revolution or preserve our freedoms. So, a new American revolution, you can go with anti-fascist revolution, a progressive America, or Bernie forever. Oh boy. Expand the autonomous zones. <laughs> Gay communes. Enlist the SJWs. Improve community gardens. <laughs> we are the real fascists. Okay, then. Uh, ooh, that's good to be done. Uh, demonize white men. Destroy the fascists. Capitalism is fascism. Save the world, a new inclusive world. Oh, look at that. Inclusive segregation. Wait, furry empire. The fur. Wait, new confederates become ruling party? We got gay communes as well as neo confederates and or just gay fascism. <clears throat> Kill. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Uh. Well, before we go any further, let's go ahead and just do some of our research. It's still 1937, so. Uh, let's see. I'll grab some tools. Tools are pretty useful. Grab some more rubber, because that's going to be pretty darn useful. And let's see. Any, anything else around here? Could we do this? No. We need 50% war support. Biden, Jeb Bush. Oh, conservatives. Those neoconservatives will be friendly soon enough. Stability would be nice, but we don't really need that right now. Oh, here we go. Theodore Roosevelt. 3% more. Wow. August von Mackensen? What are you doing here? Invite German monarchists. Ted Cruz. And Donald Trump. 15% attack. But that 3% population is so good. But well, we are America, so we should be okay. Uh, let's see. Alex Jones. Tucker Carlson. Kanye West. I love the black community now. Well, uh, anyways. Uh, Alex Jones. I mean, here he's already the leader. We might as well keep him, right? So we have the war against fascism. So we just looked at expand the autonomous zones. The war against fascism. We need to liberate America. Join the Soviets. Go with Britain. Eat the rich. Nationalize big companies. The plot against the nations. Delete social scarcity templates. Bernie world. All right. Okay then. Federation of South, Ar South Arabia. Declare war in Saudi Arabia. The man in the shadows. George Soros. Ooh. Zionist destiny. Oh boy. Moves capital to Palestine. George Soros annexes Levant. Another seven-day war. Claim the throne of the world. That ain't bad. The greatest enemy. Return to Iberia. Destroy the fake empires. Revolutionary integration. That's not bad. State of perpetual... Oh! You just go to war with everyone. Holy cow. Revolutionary mass war machines. The Bolivarian... Bolivarian revolution. Maduro, a man from the future, asserted Bolivarian revolution in Venezuela. He was proclaimed... And that he will destroy the United States. Oh, so, oh, that's every state becomes a court. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. We'll look at some more of this in a little bit, but I forgot to mention to everyone. Actually, there's more nations that have unique focus trees, including Nicaragua, which for some I don't know why this place does. 
but it has its own unique focus tree from what I read from the mod description. It's not that big, and it's pretty similar to what kind of the generic focus tree is, but... Um... What? That fly... Our glor oh, glorious leader. Claim the Korean Peninsula. Alright. Well, let's go do one of our own other focuses. And so I guess with going interventionist policies, we're forced to recreate NATO, but it hasn't happened yet. It's only 1937, so we get more political powers, war support, ideology, drift defense, and create our own faction. We need a strong alliance led by the strongest nation or country to defeat the enemies of democracy. We need to recreate NATO and save this world, as long as they pay their own way in and make sure they continue paying their appropriate cost. Oh, look at this. Befriend the centrists. War preparations. Okay. We get more stability. We're just making everyone friendly. The Bull Moose Party, the Trumpists, the Christian Conservatives, the Neoconservatives, the Libertarians, and the Black Community all agree to and want to help each other out. This is a very weird timeline. Well, we must have a lot of vaccines. Nice. The Midwest is getting done. Increased production. And then we'll probably befriend the centrists because that's that's okay with me. Centrists, well, you could be worse. Colorado, not bad. Recreate NATO. I mean, even though it's a 70 focus. Oh, yeah. Actually, can we intervene? Wait, hold on. Do these guys have unique focus tree? Volunteer Corps. Mr. Saud, no. What about you? Oh, what? Oh. It's, it's my Chungus. It's, why is there a big Chungus here? <laughs> The perfect leader. <laughs> what? Oh, you get weekly manpower. Oh my gosh, a thousand. I can't send volunteers. Ah. Oh, what? I okay. So I knew about the Venezuelan thing. Oh, oh wait, hold on. That's over. Here. They're all united. Y Yemen, Oman, and Iraq. I knew about Nicaragua and Venezuela. I even have it written down here in front of me. But um, this seems like a pretty strong leader, but then it, Wow. I didn't know Iraq, Oman, and Yemen had that much manpower available to them immediately. Holy cow. Alright, in any case, it's almost 1938. Let's grab some more research speed, because that's always good to grab. And ex excavation is done. Let's see. In 38, what else do we want? Radar? Sure, why not? We're still trying to build some more factories, which is nice. Uh, keep expanding the factory knows right now, guys. That'll be great, 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 great. 90% in Indiana, 100% Ohio, but no... All right, there we go. All right, can we buy any more things? Well, we'll spend for the centrists. Centrists, they're indifferent for now. That's fine. Just spend all the money. Spend all the money. That sounds like a very normal thing to do. Uh, oh, look at this. What do we have over here? Oh, we actually have a sub. Nice. All right, everyone else. There you go. Good luck. Mobilizing. We are mobilizing more. I guess the friendly neoconservatives who love war. Hmm. I'm going to buy more vaccines. And, well, we just recreated NATO, and now we get 1.85 political power every day. We could do protectionism, but that's not worth it right now. The wall, um, we got, oh, we can befriend the Latinos, too. That's not bad. Mobilize a country, not bad, but I want to see what happens down here. Increase the military budget, and alliance to rule them all. Well, I guess, for now, we just gotta build the wall in 1938. We have to build a wall, a very big wall. So, I mean, if, are you really playing with Donald Trump if you're not building a wall? Alright, so... Oh, wait. We need to do DC as well. Totally fine. Everyone loves it. Oh, oh is that... Is that still going up or not? Because that's been there for a while. Coronavirus pandemic is actually hurting us probably because of that. Yeah. Alright, not bad. Not bad, I'd say. Let's go buy some more vac vaccines. Those feel pretty good probably, right? Well, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, this is... More construction speed, conscription, political power, attack, and core territory, and stability. Jesus. Oh, us. Uh, let's grab some of this, too. Oh, I forgot to do this, too. Whatever. That's fine. Maybe we should focus a little bit more on ships. Anything else here? Not really. So we're almost actually done with the pandemic, it looks like. We've got a lot of needles in a lot of places. Let's do it there. we got Ohio's last. The North Dakota. It looks like Montana. And Washington and Oregon. Eh. Do they need help? Maybe. Here's some needles, good sirs. We've built the wall. You know? It's great. 
And let's befriend some Latinos. Oppose Latin uh, American communism. Most of the Latinos came to America to escape co from communism. With their anti-communist stance, we might just be able to get their support. Why not? Uh, aluminum production? Oh, what are we missing here? Is it... Oh, yeah, we still probably can't trade, can we? Oh, no. No, we can. It's probably because we got the neoconservative support there. And let's see. Let's go and grab some of this, too. Uh, put them in Illinois. Nothing like a bunch of rubber production in Illinois. All right, so where can we eject people yet? Nope, we only have one vaccine packages. So how much will it cost to befriend the Latinos? Because now everyone likes us. Well, everyone that we didn't get rid of likes us. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so people are turning way fascister. Fascister? More fascist. That's not a lot of manpower, but hey, whatever. Uh, the game? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, I knew he was in the game files, but I didn't realize that he would actually be leading Sweden. Jesus Christ, what the heck. Uh... Oh, and they're still fighting. Oh my gosh. Well, we can befriend the Latinos, which would be kind of fun. Let's go on an alliance to rule them all. NATO is the greatest alliance because America is leading it. We should absorb all major alliances with the same ideology so they can be part of the greatest alliance. Absolutely. It seems like we're probably going to be butting heads here. Let's look at this. Oh, but fighting Latinos... More recruitable population factor, 10%. Now, I don't know the population percent of Latinos in the nation, but is it 10%? I thought it would be, be higher than 10%. I'm pretty sure it is higher than 10%. Let's help out these guys. Oregon does... Oregon? No, nah, I prefer Utah. Ah, Utah. Let's go and help them out down here. Maybe we grab some armored cars as well. I'm loving this manpower. You know what? But being buddy buddies with the neoconservatives really makes your manpower rise. Let's buy more vaccines. And let's see. So everyone looks good except Ohio. Ah, inject them with the needles. That's weird. I'm, I'm helping out Oregon before I help out Ohio. I got nothing against Ohio. It's just... You know, Ohio's Ohio. Alright, so we got these guys coming along. Oh, we don't have any tanks. What is wrong with me? Uh, does anyone else here want to train forever and ever? We're still missing guns, though, and support equipment. So we're actually... Compared to your, you know, the vanilla star for Hoi 4, I'm not doing great. Could be worse, I guess, though. Alright, let's see. Anywhere? Any state? Um, oh, oh yeah, Alaska. Don't forget Alaska. Uh, no, I think, I think there's other states we gotta help out first, right? Let's see. Do, Ohio, other than Ohio. Mm, Alaska? No, I just said that. Oh, well, man, if I have to. Okay. Oh, and a peace conference? Oh! No, it's the Empire's puppeted, huh? There you go. Oh, there goes Asin taking control of stuff. Recon reconcilement policies. 400 days, 100. So you get it. Wait, hold on. So for this one, you get 1,000 manpower, and you get more stability, which isn't too bad. Oh, look at that. 100% stability. We need more war support, though. Let's go ahead. Where do you get more war support from? Uh, support private property, no. Reconcilement capabilities. Uh, support black neighborhoods. Hmm. It's only one civilian factory. Eh, we'll might as well try it. We got the political power for it right now, don't we? Support weapons one. Let's grab support weapons two. Oil processing. Let, let's grab some more shipperinos. Because we're going. Oh, look at that manpower. Wow. Tasty. Alright, let's keep making more factories. Ah, Illinois, yes. Ohio. Okay, we finally helped you out. Might as well, right? Rubber looking slightly better. And that's kind of what we thought would happen. Bulgaria purchased the Reich. Oh. Oh, wait. I thought they puppeted them. PewDiePie. The gamer. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Allied investment. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else here? Peacekeeping missions. Economic cooperation. Technology sharing. No more frontiers. Of a united democratic country to our allies. United States of the world. United States of the world. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, but that requires all the following. Can I secure the free world? No, we can't do that. Oh, man. Because we can't do that because we need to support small democracies, which you have to go with the Senor Biden over there to the left of us, so. Uh, it's faction leader. requires all of it, which, uh, that sucks. But let's see what happens with increasing the military budget. We need more money to make more guns, and every country in our faction must increase its military budget, too. Everyone's going to make a big, get a bigger budget. NATO, huh? Uh, oh, they join the Allies, though. Uh, we can't build the wall, 
you know, through focuses, we'll build the wall normally. Oh, that's part of the wall. Yeah, we're building infrastructure too, nice. That's just a bigger section of the wall. Maybe we should have a northern wall too against Canada. Alright, so after that, we're probably going to go ahead and grab end of the pandemic? Uh, let's see, where is it? May have begun Wuhan, China, but hit the U.S. harder than anywhere else. Millions are infected and thousands die by the day of the pandemic, or the pandemic is to end. We make sure and distribute a vaccine to every state in the nation. Well, I'm pretty sure I already have. Oh, there we go. Reduce the effects of the pandemic. There we go. So for 350 days, we lose recruitable population factor, consumer goods factory, stability, construction speed. It's got to be that way. Hey, we just auto bypassed. We don't get research centers, though. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Paralyzed economy. End of the pandemic. With all cases down across the U.S., the coronavirus pandemic seems to be defeated. The release of the vaccine and all the states helped to slow the spread and until herd immunity was reached. People are now slowly returning to normal over the country, but the scars caused by the pandemic will never fully go away. Great. The coronavirus is gone. It's just gone. We can mobilize the economy. Oh, wait. We can just automatically go to war economy? That's not bad. Paralyzed economy. The end of the depression. Libertarian reforms. That's not bad. Great, not bad, I like it. Social reform. Social Democrats are friendly. Well, we got rid of the Social Democrats, because they had wrong think, we'll say. And so, yeah, bye-bye. Huh. All right, then. So, we're still producing vaccines. Oh, we're not... I, you know what? The mod developer, whoever created this... Oh, we can support immigration. Really knew his stuff. Because sometimes some mods just leave it in there, which is kind of annoying. But thank you, mod developer, if you're watching. Joaquim Yonguez Humberto, a very Nicaraguan revolutionary, has started a revolution in Nicaragua. He's proclaimed that he will dominate America, then he'll invade Korea. Okay. Death charts throwers. How about some active sonars? What is this? Support immigration? Okay. That's 1,200 times 100. It's 1,200... 12,000. Wait, is that 120,000? Um... Okay. Sure. Oh ho! Oh. The mighty uh, Luxembourgish. Well, let's see first. How about let's not piss anyone off. Let's invite the Irish. You know, Irish-American relations are always they join NATO. Okay, they love us. Ireland's decided to accept their offer to join the NATO. Henceforth, we shall stand or fall together. Uh, can I integrate them? All right. Well, they're in with us. For better or worse, they're in with us. So, in a word, armor cars. Why not? After this, Liberia, our greatest ally, they join NATO. We shall defend democracy together. We should really get that research back going then. Cuba, American and Cuban relations have never been brighter. Never been better. Together we shall defend democracy. Can I send volunteers to national Spain though? No. Oh, it breaks my heart. Carlism, I really want to send volunteers. I thought we were allowed to. I guess we were lied to. Big sadness. More guns. When in doubt, make more guns. Eat more chicken, but eat, but make more guns. Actually, how are we looking here? Uh, we're building too much of other stuff, I'd say. Let's see. Where's 100% infrastructure besides Ohio? Anywhere? Wow, we increased the military budget. Thank goodness. Expanding our cities. We're building the economy. Let's go to mobilize our economy. We must mobilize our economy. Yeah. Weekly change, more manpower. Oh, coronavirus aftermath. We have friendly black and Latino communities, which is very nice. All right, Netherlands. I oh, don't know about that. Sw Switzerland. They accepted our invitation. Henceforth, we shall stand and fall together. Up next, we shall go ahead and invite... Oh. Spain. Now this might just be the thing we need to get involved in other countries. Now, Spain. Senor, as you like to be called sometimes. <sighs> Can we join wars? World tension must be at least at 50%. Why? Can't kick them, because they just recently joined. Um, oh, I don't like that. Why can't... Uh -huh. Democracies. If only America was a one-party state, then we could fix this, couldn't we? Anything else here? Reconcilement? We got a lot of buffs. I like the buffs. 
Norway, Chile. Yeah. Yeah, Chile. Thanks, Chile. Chile. Very nice. Wow. You guys are really sucking it up, aren't you? Seriously, if I could help them out, I would, but I can't. This sucks, man. This really sucks. Oh, so that support opens to done soon. Well, if that's the case, I'll let the subs... Okay, well, they're going to war, so I'll let these guys continue... To... Well, we don't really need to keep them in training, but whatever. For the national, let's go do some naval stuff, too. Holy cow. I guess, technically, they don't have cores on this area, which is kind of okay. Well, maybe they'll get cores eventually, because Big Chunga says so. Oh, wait, they're fighting Romania and Turkey. This is a weird timeline, not gonna lie. This is very weird. Let's go ahead and grab some more tanks, maybe? Yeah. Heavy tanks. And I want light tanks, because you throw them on as recon companies, too, so that's kind of nice. And then maybe get some more naval doctor. Uh-oh. What's going on? 39% world tension? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, they joined the Allies, so... I guess they'll them to our faction. Wow. They are doing... They immediately took over Leipzig. Honduras. Thank you, Honduras. Wow. Well, Costa Rica. Active sonars. Ah, thank you, Costa Rica. Naval adoption time, son. Oh, we're on a base strike. Nice. Carrier primacy. Thank goodness. Now we can actually get some more naval XP. It's not much, but it's honest work. Two, two political power day. Wow. And, oh, I love an increased military budget. What are we still building? Not enough stuff. Actually, how is our rubber up? But not great. 17, not bad. Okay, right, so who else can we get into NATO? NATO. North Atlantic Treaty Organization, is that what it's called? Hmm. Ecuador. The mighty Ecuadorians need to join us. Thank you, Ecuador. Good lord, please, let me just join you. I can help you out. I don't have tanks, but I can help you. Between Big Chungus and PewDiePie, and I guess Germany, too. That's going to look like a very weird world. Especially with NATO and the Allies. Oh! Oh, that looks disgusting. Oh, so sorry, Finland. Oh, well. Hey, but we, the, we have the Swiss, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Actually, are we still building? We're doing okay here? Very nice. More guns. More guns, please. Infinite guns. Alright, mobilize the economy. Great. And invite the United Mexican States? Who needs a wall when you can invite them in as brothers and sisters? Well, we're still building the wall. Don't get me wrong. We're still building that thing, sucker. All right, Mexico joins NATO. How about NAFTA now? Expanding our cities would not be bad. Uni new universities. So we must expand our cities to improve our economy. Not a bad idea. I like these somewhat quick, fast focuses. We get two civilian factories, two more military factories, and then we can immediately go get a fifth research slot. Amazing. End of the Depression would we'll be good to get. And we'll probably go with the libertarian reforms just because we can. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? An anti-communist stance. Daily communism support goes down. Eliminate communism, so that's not bad. Peacekeeping coups. Nice. Oh wait, peacekeeping missions. Maybe that's what we need. Okay, so we need to able. To, okay, we need to do that next. That's the next one we got to do. Uh, lead the world. Non-core manpower, mobilization speed, division attrition, re weekly reward support goes up. Division attack and defense on core territory. Just fire world goals times. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, got more political power, too. All right. I don't... Oh, no. Not Dick Cheney. No. Oh, no. But I got to do him. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's a surprise. It's Dick Cheney. It's not John Bolton. Then again, I don't think they have a really good relationship. Then again, I don't know the relationship between Dick Cheney and, Je and Jeb Bush. No, Trump. So, I don't know. Need more cities. Oklahoma, your turn. All right. So, who do you want next? Ah, the Haitians. Yes. If we can get their mafia on our side, we'll, we'll be unstoppable. Look at that. My goodness. That's so much manpower. I love it. I love America. Seriously, we're 44%, so come on, Big Chungus. Ah, the Czechs are doing okay. They uh, went down into there. Ah, the Czechs are getting pushed in. Um. Well, that's not good. What? The leftist international... Oh, hold on. I forgot about Venezuela, too. No, they're in their own... They're just kind of by themselves. Um, okay, Costa Rica's gone immediately. Holy cow. Uh, alliance with Joachim? It's not a big focus tree, but... Alright. We're going to war, boys! Finally! Let's get this thing cranking. Let's get this war machine going. Oh, crap. I left this undefended. Oh, crap. Um, hmm. 
send the lion half of you guys down here and help out. And stop doing our plane stuff over here. Oh, we're not building any bombers, are we? Well, that's dumb. Um, there we go. Uh, oh, the, god dang it, they go to Spain. Increase military budget. Oh, no. Fighters would be good. Oh, we're not even, oh, we're not even building them. There you go. Now we're building some more. Let's grab one of these as well. Alright, now we're in the war. Okay, then. There you go. Cool. Mexico, our greatest ally. International Nicaragua. Parliamentary speech. Invite Panama. Well, I'm not sure if Panama's going to really help us here. Just saying. Let's get... Well, we'll do Uruguay because we can. Ah, oh, Uruguay. Good job, Uruguay. Oh, God. Um, well, that's not good. Can we send anybody down here? Can we send two divisions, maybe? Okay, you guys are really not making me happy here, man. Get your butts moving. I don't care about supply issues right now. We gotta help our friends down here. Alright, so we got... Uh, no, not the commenter already. Oh, boy, this is not good. Well... Well, okay then. I guess it's time for a war against these guys. Well, that was unexpected. Okay, well, whatever. Since we're here, I'll also grab some of this too, you know. Nice. Sink all of them convoys. We might lose this. We might. We'll probably lose that too. All right. Well, whatever. Whatever. Goodbye, Andres. There goes Finland, too. Well, this is a very weird world. We do up there, too. Alright, El Salvador is our ally. Oh, wait, when did they join? They just auto joined. Well, yeah, at least we can go th straight through Mexico to put these people down. Alright, Alex Jones. Uh, would you like to come on in? Oh, we need Guatemala. Expand your cities is nice. Let's go and do this, too. Alright, allied investments would be nice, but it's time for peacekeeping missions. There are a lot of countries at war. We must use our military power to end these wars and eliminate any threat to our country. Absolutely. Too bad we're already... Okay, Guatemala's in. Nice. Alright, Alex Jones. You get down to them and tell them, stop turning them frogs gay down there. Only then will we be able to save America. Oh, you're naming dudes Jack Squat. Oh, head on over here. There you go. Uh, fighters, duplicate them. We need more fighters in the air. Luxembourg joined Luxembourg. Luxembourg joined the Allies. Italy joined the Reich. The early World War Two. Panama. Yeah, we gotta get them Panamanians in here. Very good. All right, up next, we already got Alex Jones. I think it might be fitting. Ben Shapiro, Kamala Harris, Kanye West, and Tucker Carlson. Oh, I want that extra manpower, but we gotta go with Donnie. We got, he's gotta lead the way. He's gotta lead the charge doing that stuff. Prepare for elections. We can't win against Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, what? Carrier primacy. Let's grab this too then. Happy 1939, everyone. After this one, we're gonna go ahead and try to do po secure popular support. Four more years, a new candidate. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one probably. At least we're doing naval stuff, finally. I love the naval stuff. Even though, why, that's the. That's well, man. This is this very, they're very weird stuff. Level one, at least he's learning stuff. That's nice. Over here, can we at least get rid? Can Alex Jones lead the way? He might be able to lead the way. What if, what if you see forced attack? Could he really lead the way then? He probably could. He really probably could. North Korea, Nicaragua. No, 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 no. The multi ribbon Trump Act. This can't be good. Actually, that's, that'd be good for us. I'd rather fight the Germans than the Soviets because it's going to be impossible to invade the Soviet Union. Light tanks, finally. Let's grab some more construction speed, though. Alright. Come on. Don't lag, please. We've got a world to save. And Texas, too. Put some dockyards down there as well. Old equipment. Old Great War light tanks. Very good. Well, grounding up here. Not too bad. Not great. Just don't ask me how it's going down there. Force the attack. Supplies are really bad. We don't have air superiority, which really sucks. But hey, we're getting more air XP. That's kind of nice. Keep sinking all their garbage. 
And how are the ships doing over here? They're doing okay, maybe? Please don't lose Hawaii. <laughs> Please. Wow, we're really losing quite a few guys. Yeah, we've lost 50... Wow, we've lost 54,000. Jesus. Yeah, Nicaragua's doing very, very extremely well. How? Oh, my goodness. Of course, these guys probably aren't that great either, so... I don't know what to expect. Uh, infantry divisions... Yeah, they're not great. They're definitely not great. How's our artillery looking? Not great either. So we'll throw on this as well for now. Which will hurt us a little bit. But let's grab you. Donald Trump. More attack. Come on, win over there. I can't imagine them having that much manpower, right? Hello, Joachim, Jongel, Zumberto. You changed there, son. That's 6 to 15 divisions. 94,000 manpower, Jesus Christ, what the heck? This is not what I was thinking of when I was going to pl start playing this mod, but okay, so your popular support. We need more popular support to stabilize the country and secure a victory in the 1940s elections. Well, it is what it is. Alex Jones is learning a lot, though. Becoming an infantry leader, maybe a hills fighter, mountaineer, and such. Yeah, we definitely need more planes, so, uh, yeah. 5, 15... More dive bombers, maintenance companies would be nice. Let's grab some more output as well. All right, let's, let's really focus on a lot of uh, military factories here now. There you go. And then... I might be running out of room here, too. Nice. Keep sinking their stuff. Why are we losing? Like, they have air support on their side, but not for long. I can't imagine them keeping this up now, can I? The glorious leader. Let's see. Industry of Nicaragua. Secrets from the future. All right. Small arms production. No. I mean, our, our division just ain't very good. We need to do more land auction too. I forgot about that. That's probably what's chewing us up right now is a lack of a real good land auction. Oh god, we need way more guns now. Should listen to the Warhawks. Wow, supply is just so bad. Well, it might be best we try to nearly invade a supply promoted. Uh, I don't want anyone else down there. I'm going to throw you guys over here, though. So, one, two, three. Pause the game. Go from San Salvador down to San Jose. We might just be able to get that accomplished, maybe. Well, done with that for now. I'm going to get some better artillery. Secure popular support. And we'll do that later on. Let's grab that extra research slot, shall we? We're building the economy. No. New universities. We need more universities for more research. Not a bad idea. So we could really do some more land auction because I'm completely forgetting about it. Zog Smith's Italy. So be it, so be it, so be it. You guys just hang out. Have a good time. We've lost way too many Americans already. Yeah, that's really dumb. That's really, really dumb. They've, they must have some sort of secret buff over there. That doesn't make any sense to me, man. Mm, how are we looking? Are you guys down here yet? Well, actually, you're, you're headed down there, too. So you take forever to get down there. Whatever. Oh, some commie convoys. I see. South white, which is good. Yeah, that is a little, honestly, a little infuriating. See how easily they're able to push put us down oh we could get joe biden in our cabinet and jeb bush i think i gotta go with jeb bush man christian conservative traditionalist woman it's not bad yeah it's not bad who's in chief oh god george bush is here too oh Mon marco rubio and diane feinstein the gang's all here um kingdom of america yeah, I, I mean, I, I gotta go. I gotta go with Jeb Bush, man. I gotta go with him. Eventually. Oh God, I don't want to do this. Oh, oh, I felt nasty. Anyways, uh, let's see. Land auction. Don't forget land auction. More defense would be nice. All right, so you guys should be down here by now, right? Let's see what we can do. Probably not going to do very well, but that's all right. Hello. Can you guys actually... Oh, I actually sent four divisions, huh? Force the attack. If we can just at least land there, that's the most important thing for us. Uh, anything else? Do we have any other types of planes? Oh, we got 100 close air support. That might be slightly useful, given the range. How do they always have 150 planes? I don't understand that. Hey, but it doesn't matter as long as we can get in there. 
Come on, go, 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 San Jose. Ah, oh, we did it. All right, everyone, let's ruin supply. And do this. Uh, well, that's not good. I need you to just hold, please. Actually, all of you just hold. I already clicked H to tell you to stop. Well, we're going to lose Panama. The Panama Canal. That kind of advice is gone, though. Well, Donald Trump just 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 destroyed the coronavirus. So, oh Venezuela, why did you have to get involved? Anti-American alliance, how fitting! All right, oh protect, Dest oh peacekeeping missions. Wow, uh, immigration, that's not bad. Let's do that and invite other people maybe into our alliance. Luxembourg, Netherlands. No, I don't think I want to invite anyone over there yet for, to our alliance. Maybe we'll wait for them. Don't let them move. Do not let them move. All right, Ted. How are we doing? Where's your capital? Ah, it's right here. Keep them in place. Keep them in place. We can lose this area as long as we get Managua. Stink them, convoy. Stink them and stink them. All right, y'all, hold. You're not allowed to leave. I told you not to leave, son. All right, we got new universities. Hey, they capitulated. Great, rebuilding the economy might not be bad. Let's do the American army though first. We have to improve our army. I could have told you that. And what else we got? More entrenchments. Better weapons. Weapons too. Beautiful. So now they're coming up through here, which is not very good. We're going to do this and invade, invade, invade. I've lost way too many men already. The Honduran government next to Tuberculo Carreras Andio has formally requested permission for the American government to return to Honduras and reestablish a provisional PLH cabinet for preparation for the post war peace. It's time for them to return home. There you go, son. Don't bother me again. All right. In the meantime, we got to naval invade these guys. <sighs> well, as America, you can lose a lot of guys and still do okay. I'm gonna put eight people there. There you go. And one, two. Infantry and Yankee. Thank you. Go right there. And we're gonna invade. Probably not Caracas, but maybe go right there. Uh, why can't we do that? Ah, uh, because we have two people there. That makes sense then. Cool. Ah, better artillery. Costa, Costa Rica's gone again? Huh. Well, alright. Bye, Costa Rica. See you later. <laughs> Uh, let's grab some stuff here too. Oh, what are we doing? Operation. Uh, we're using CAS. We're using tactical bombers. We're using the operation integrity. Might not be bad. Yeah, those guys. They're nice and all. Uh, Mongolia is a true menace here. Nice. Good job, Alex Jones. Good job, Seawolf. Or, you know, Lucas Roberts. Level 2, not bad. You know, House Costa Rica? Whatever. Y'all, how you doing up here, Marcus? Not much going on, huh? So be it. They're attacking us, we're attacking them. We lost way too many guys, but... Oh, just the leftist international Venezuela. Hmm, they should play them sometime. Good lord, we need way more factories. I'm going to go as high as we possibly can. There you go. Holy crap, so many ships need help. And I'm feeling, honestly, I'm feeling a little lacking here in terms of uh, space to build more, you know, dockyards and such. Holy cow. Actually, what is taking up so much of this? Yeah, this early stuff is not very good. Miami needs a bigger port. Eh, I suppose we give Miami a bigger port. Why not? A large port. Sure, we got ships down here too, right? So, we'll see that too. There you go. Not bad. You'll be able to get more supply down there, okay? Your turn, uh, Ted Cruz. You do have... He's a Mountaineer, so that's pretty nice. Y'all, though, he's looking pretty good. Can we head on it? Oh, yeah, we can. Chile just decided to go right on in. So, I guess this is kind of redundant doing it like this, then. But they're off. They're off. Well, Alex Jones, I'm glad you're invading Venezuela, which is something I don't think I would have ever said before in my life. But... 
Go right ahead. Have a good time. See what they're all about down here. Alright, and you get to come over here. And we get to do this. You know what? Just help them out over there. I don't care. Alright, Ted Cruz, I know you're struggling down there, but you gotta keep it up. National Oh, we have these National Guard divisions as well. Artillery, not great. Just guns, not great either. Oof. Put you at the bottom, because you're gonna collect everything that comes out of here. And not bad. Disperse industry. Let's grab some more extraction, maybe. That might help out. Venezuelan attempts to sabotage Panama. Military intelligence indicates that Venezuelans indicate or intend to use large scale demolitions and block ships to sabotage the Panama Canal. Hi, Ben Shapiro. You want to lead? Okay. If we wish to stop them, we do not have much time. We cannot allow this. Oh, crap. We actually have to invade the fault of Nanjing. That's not good. Oh, they're actually beating us up here. How? Supply is really bad. That's why. Oh, boy. That's maybe sending them all down here was a bad idea. You, you got to force it, son. You just got to kill every single one of them. Hello. They join the allies. All right, then. Get these more command power. Oh, God. Sending them all. All these guys down here is a bad idea. Happy guys, go home. If we lose Panama, whatever. Happy guys, head on back up to Florida then. There you go. Get out of there. You're sucking up too much supply. Yeah, 7 out of 10. Even though over here, it's actually pretty good. How can you not win over here? Venezuela is very... Oh, well, they got back Panama for now. Ain't gonna last. That's alright. Yeah, we lost a lot of guys so far, but that's alright. No, don't lose Panama again. Oh well. <laughs> I gotta get Jet Bush. I don't wanna get him though right now. I wanna get this stuff. Light aircraft stuff. The American Army after the American Army. Better Air Force, better Navy, better Pizza. Papa John's. Better tanks. Nuclear focus. Not bad, not bad. American Army. Well, let's go ahead and do rebuilding the economy. Now that the coronavirus is not a problem, we can focus on rebuilding our economy. We may be at war, but hey, what else is new? It's America. Go, 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 Ted. Just don't kill off too many of our boys. That wouldn't be very good. Keep sinking some convoys, too. That's nice. Alright, so now we're looking much better over here. Maybe not perfect, but looking better. More infantry. Not bad, not bad. Ben Shapiro will lead the way. Which is something I... Like I said earlier, I don't think I would have ever said that before. I'll kill them off. Sucking on a supply that they don't deserve. No, I don't think I need to know how to create an army. I've been playing this game for too long already. Do not know how to do that. Ah, oh, convoy's good. Stink them. Stink them. Alright, so now they're now they're taking on a lot of casualties. How much manpower do they have? 47,000. They got quite a bit, I'd say. Oh, and the lion is doing the good work. He's doing the Lord's work. Nice. Even though we've got no guns. Force rotation is not bad. Still could use some more of this stuff down here, though. Just because we have all that extra naval XP. Nice. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the butt to take out. We probably won't be able to take this out for a while, actually. You guys looking okay-ish. What have you guys helped out? There you go. Alex Jones is learning. He's an infantry expert. I'm going to keep one of you guys here. Just you hang out and hold. Not bad. I really don't like them having them as allies just because we can't build in their areas. But to make up for the loss in manpower, we're going to support more immigration from these exact countries that we're probably attacking. Uh, actually, if we attack Panama, that might actually be better. I want use 6 to invade from... Uh, somewhere on this side. Guatemala. Invade Panama. There you go. And that's what helps with supplies well down here. We gotta rebuild the economy and end of the depression. The economy is now better than ever. You betcha, boys and girls. Oh man, they love attacking. They are loving, loving, loving attacking. Half you guys just hold. Alex Jones, you gotta hold, son. He's learning a lot. Wow. Son, you ain't allowed to lose. Oh, good. We actually won here. Nice. We winning here yet? Are you winning, son? Do we actually push down yet? Not yet. Wow. This is a battle going on here. We got 150,000 of them. Not bad. Chile's done a good job, too. I'm proud of Alex Jones.
Now, if you guys hanging out up there, that's fine. Wait, where are these guys? You just gotta keep them in place, Ted. <clears throat> How's the world looking, actually, in 1939? France is looking is getting touched by Italy. Germany's struggling with Poland a little bit. Czechoslovakia still exists somehow. Okay. And China, China's not doing too bad. So, it's very weird. Yeah, maybe not 105, but that'll be good enough for now. Guns, guns, guns galore, my friends. All right, not bad, but more. Never enough. 100%, 90%, 90%, 100%, 100 100%. Oh, look at this, nice. Uh, let's see. No, we're good. Carriers, we're gonna need some more. Yeah, we're gonna need some more of this. We need way more chromium, though. Cuba, where's Cuba? Cuba's loaded with chromium, right? There we go, now that's nice. Now we got a war machine kicking. Are right, these guys ready to go? Oh, that's quite a few days. Oh, she got it. Look at that. Not bad, I would say. So my question is, <clears throat> how are we going to take out the Soviet Union? If they open up a new front, that ain't too bad. Second Vienna Award, all right, they join the Axis. Watch out, the Hungarian menace is big and alive. All right, Ben Shapiro, you just go hang out and train. Treaty of Krayova, well, sorry, that ain't American, so I don't really care. Let's grab some radar for, or not radar, let's attack for later. Oh boy, election government contested. With an upcoming election, people begin to question the capability of the current administration to pursue the ongoing war. The U.S. has great, suffered greatly, and, and popular opinions turn against those that soon to be leading the nation to defeat. While our people are determined to see the war to the end, they'd rather see another government ending it. Shift. Let the political landscape shift to keep the people united? The crisis of trust is highly unfortunate. It's alright, whatever. It is what it is. You guys are holding very nicely. Uh, can you guys go ahead? Yeah, go ahead and keep them in place. You ain't going to be winning. The 1939 elections, the candidate proposed by our parties won the elections. Well. Bye, Donald Trump. Bully. This is very weird. <laughs> oh, new candidate. Well, maybe I should have gone the other way then. Where is it? Oh, I should have. I should, how do we do do? You know what? You know what? As much as I want to do that one, we'll see what happens. Well, everyone, I've tried a few different things, but everything I've tried, from canceling elections to doing other decisions or even, you know, different events here, it just seems like destiny that Donald Trump might just be a, a four-year president, at least for now. So, I, for one, must welcome in the Bull Moose. More political power, construction speed, daily democracy spread. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot, lot worse. <sighs> Regardless, we're having a good time. We're actually, oh, Alex, oh no, Alex Jones, no, not Alex Jones. Don't make sure he's not wounded. Oh, we actually won. Look at that. And we did naval invade over here too, which is pretty nice. Though it's unfortunate that Donald Trump is no longer here with us. You know, I tried to make this video all about him, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, hey, I, but you know what? I didn't think I'd actually play as Teddy Roosevelt here, so you know, not bad, not bad. Now we can protect and destroy a lot of places. Gain, wait, protect France, but you get a topple war goal against them. Alright. Oh, we can... Oh, they blew it up. Oh, are you kidding me? They blew... Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm going to wait to get that political power. We're just going to go straight on in. I have Ben Shapiro here. He's just training a couple guys. Alex Jones is just kind of hanging out for now. Yeah, you deserve that many losses after the men we lost against you, so... Not bad. Eventually, we'll have them done and dusted with. How's Europe doing? France is still holding on. Actually, and Poland is just... I'm surprised they're holding on in December 1st. They're probably going to die, though. And, uh, let's double-check this. Hungary. Okay. I'd hate to be in uh, Switzerland right now. I almost said NATO. And I forgot. We are NATO. Panea incident. Does Japan have no limits? Actually, how are they doing down there? End of it. Ah, no more depression. Ah. Uh, of course, Donald Trump would leave office once the depression's over. Ah. Uh, denounce fascism and lead the democracies. Uh, that's not bad. That ain't bad to do. 
Let's come over here. Libertarian reforms. We have to implement libertarian reforms to improve our economy. More construction speed, less stability. But less factories. Less consumer goods factories, so it's better for us. Not bad. Mo military factories, though. Mo, mo, mo. Poland. Oh, well, they survived until December. Good job, Poland. Good job. Anything else around here? Well, Ted's still going at it, but it ain't bad. I could have some radar as well. Might as well, right? And Alex Jones, well, he's just hanging out. I really hate that we cannot uh, build in Chile's territory here. That would help out probably quite a bit. If that's the case, all but one, you're going to help attack. And you're going to help support the attack as well. Thank you very much. Actually, it says you might actually just be able to win. Uh, I don't want to send everyone down here because that would be a very bad idea. And they're still attacking us. Even though Ted is trying his best over there. Ted Cruz. Look at that beard, man. Look at that. Uh, please don't fall ill, Ted. Hey, we're Ted Cruz. And Ted Roosevelt. It's a match made in history. Alright, it's almost 1940. Let's grab some research speed. That'd be nice. More guns. More guns, 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 factories. All this good stuff. What are we lacking besides guns and artillery? More artillery. Infinite artillery. Artillery only. Oh, there goes the USSR doing their stuff like normal. Thank you. We got a load of fuel. Lots and lots of fuel. I love it. Alright, so we can't win here, which really sucks. Y'all you you all hold. Y'all have a good... Oh, actually. You guys might actually be able to win there. Please don't lose here either. They look like they're running out of guns too. We could naval invade again. Yeah, we're probably going to have to naval invade again. Gosh darn it. It's alright. They already took out Ecuador, which sucks, but whatever. There you go. Good luck. Keep these guys doing that. We're doing pretty darn well. We gotta get... Oh! Chile! That's doing a pretty good job. Uh, armor divisions too. That'd be very nice to grab. Let's grab some motorized. And then some lot tankerinos. Very, very good. Armor battalions. And since we are here, grab that. Grab this. Grab that. And grab some of that. Thank you. Hi, hi, hi. Double dose. A double dose of them lot tank brigados. And thank you very much. 1940. Let's grab some more infantry stuff. Let's grab some more soft attack and such. That'd be nice. And well, since the economy's fixed with libertarian reforms, we'll keep going down this way. Because there's nothing on the right side that we can really do. Yeah, ain't nothing down there. Allied uh, investment secure the Middle East. Peacekeeping coups lead the world. I like I like to lead the world, maybe. No. More worse part would be back. Anti commie stance ain't bad either. Let's take an anti communist stance. Communism is worse. We must oppose it. Not too bad, I'd say. Alright, so they're almost there. Oh, it actually broke through. Nice job, guys. And there's... Wait. Wait, what, what's happening? What the heck? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I want everyone under here. You know, even though Donald Trump lost the election here, 1940, he's still our field marshal. And he's an aggressive assaulter and a logistics wizard, so he's brilliant. He's a brilliant strategist. Brilliant. Absolutely 100% brilliant. We could have probably actually use some logistics companies, though, too. So, Oh, look at that. Nice. It says only one? It says 31 to 0, so not bad. Shang-Chi is capitulating by Shang-Chi. I might have to divide this up into two parts. Yeah, we might have to divide this up into two parts. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to do. 26, come on, come on, come on. Do not lose there for the son of a gun. Oh, you actually spread out. Nice job, guys. Oh, Alex, you, you're learning a lot, Alex. Drill fighter, he's an organizer. This is getting a little bit more realistic, isn't it? He's quite the organizer, I say. Invade, invade. They got. Oh, they're running out of manpower, too, which is great. They gotta be out of guns, right? No, they're not. 42,000 German interest in scan. Oh! Interest in Scandinavia, you say, huh? Go right on ahead, see what you can do about these fine, fine folks down here. And you only have one doing this stuff? Where are the subs? Lucas, what are you doing? Become a sea wolf, become a superior tactician as well. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so if you guys get all attack, that might not be bad. Anti communist stance is very, very good. Let's grab uh, Peacekeeping Corps. There are a lot of threatening countries in the world. We must prepare coups in the countries to preserve peace. This is really disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. This is really disappointing. Ted, please. Oh god, dang it, you idiots! Oh, you just got yourself encircled. You literally just got yourself encircled here. Are you kidding me? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a case. You guys stop training. I'm gonna need you guys to help invade or something like that. Um, wow. That, that letting the AI do anything is just a bad idea, man. There you go. If we can attack that, that'd be great. Ben Shapiro, I call, I call upon the services of Ben Shapiro here. If you could please liberate these guys, that would be delightful. But I doubt you can. If anything, y'all just hold. Hold for now. As long as they don't attack, we can get supplies in there. As long as we can build it up fast enough. Which is going pretty darn quick. If they don't attack, we got 15 days to do so. So, that ain't too bad. Hey, we actually got another port here, which is awesome. Better processing for rubber. Let's grab some better planes. Thank you. This is looking pretty thin. We lost less than 300,000, actually. We cut off over half a million of these guys. Not bad. They are starving for supplies, which I love, 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 love. We gotta repair that Panama Canal too, so. Sink him. Sink him and stink him. Alright, half you guys head on over here, Ted. And then you guys, Alex Jones. Ted Cruz and Alex Jones teaming up for a battle royale. Where are we dropping, boys? Ecuador. That's where we're headed. Oh man, they're still attacking us. God dang it. I don't know, we're not losing too many supplies though. Could be worse. Oh, yeah, we actually linked up. Nice job, boys. Nice job. Bulgarian government. Our, oh, there we go. That's going to take 25 civilian factories. How dare you. Boom. Boom. And boom. Even more factories. We, got, we get more guns, more artillery. There ain't ever enough. Probably use more subs, too. Alright, so he's a superior tactician, which ain't bad. Visibility goes down, smoke screen would not be bad either, actually, for retreating. Let's see, you guys. MPs? Not bad. It is 1940. Let's grab some of this. Alright, Ben Shnubapiro. Oh, God, 56 days. That's so long. And are they still man? Do they still have manpower? Guns are going down, which is nice. Yeah, they're running out of manpower, which is very good as well. <clears throat> so after this, what we're probably going to have to do, hmm, I could invite these guys, but there's no way for me to really get over there. Never mind, we do have Ireland, I could send guys to Ireland, I could send guys to the Netherlands and Belgium, help defend against the Germans, when they might eventually go to war with the Soviets. That'll be our gate ticket into Europe then. Oh man, they are just attacking like crazies. Oh, but I like this. NATO. All of NATO combined. Oh, oh Canada, though. We might have to take out the al allies, too, maybe. <clears throat> but, hey, it's given our guys time to learn, even though we lost a lot of guys already. Big sadness, man. Big sadness. If you can help take them out, that'd be great. Help them out, please. Thank you. Netherlands caves the British. Bulgaria joins the Axis. Peacekeeping coup. Not bad. Not bad. Protectionism. We can still do that. Lead democracies. Uh, how about I allowed investments? We must invest in our allies so our economies can grow and we can become stronger. Sounds like a great idea. Ben Shapiro. Shpen Babiro. It's time to go, Shpen. And can I have a hat? I really want one of those hats. Okay, so these guys are saved. They're, we already have a port. Nice. And you're going to help support the attack. Uh, ben Shapiro's leading attack on Ecuadorian stronghold? I think so, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, you cut us off, you son of a wawa. Come on, Ben Shapiro, destroy him with your facts and logic. Oh, no, this is facts and logic. Force that attack. Are they doing last stand as well? No, they're not. I just saw organization drop. All right, that's fine. Oh, boy. Look at all those convoys. Sink them. Sink them and stink them. Alright, so if we try to attack, actually, you might actually be able to do this finally. Oh, never mind. It's probably going to be really bad down here. And then we'll attack them. Oh, look how weak they are. Come on. Facts and logic always prevails. And, oh, we got him. I knew facts and logic couldn't fail us. I knew it. 
Give him about five seconds, and we're just going to unleash an attack on everybody right now. Five. All right, that's five seconds. Go right ahead, Ben Shapiro. Oh, I didn't give you orders yet. God dang it. Go. All right, Venezuela's got to collapse now, right? Any day now. Any day now. And got any more fighters? Oh, we got a lot of interwar bombers, actually. I didn't even do that. Hungry join. I thought they already joined the Axis earlier. And there you go. There you go. There you go. Better infantry equipment. And what else? Artillery. I love it. Good. Kill them all off. Not doing enough damage though. We need to get better planes. That's really probably what we need. Better planes. So at this point, even though we're not doing great, doesn't matter. They're out of manpower. Never mind, they just got more manpower. They must have raised their conscription level. Are they out of guns? They're almost out of guns too. Of course, then again, so are we. And motorized. Oh, do we not have any? Do we really not have trucks? Man, we start off in such a rough condition, don't we? Yeah, let's grab some of this too. We're going to need this. Yeah, we're, we are pushing in though. That's kind of nice. Come on, take Bogota. How did Colombia die? Uh, integrated support would be nice. Let's grab some regimental combat teams. Alex Jones looks like he's really pushing ahead for us. Uh, praise Alex. Better radar. Let's grab some of this as well. Very nice. Now, what can we grab around here? Now, this stuff would not be bad to grab. Invite these guys. We don't, don't want to get involved over there yet. I could grab some of that. That's fine with me. Protect a whole bunch of people. Well, we're okay for now. Immigration such stuff? Well, really manpower ain't too bad. I guess so. Why not? We love immigration here. That's how we keep the economy going. Allied investments ain't too bad either. No, it's focused, yeah. And technology sharing, that's actually really good. We must share technology with our allies. Absolutely. Nice, yeah, let them attack us. As we're just going to attack them immediately. We're making this big old army. Obviously we need more guns, even supply these guys. But we're going to make these guys 40 combo with eventually, so. Um, I wouldn't worry about that, guys. Take these guys out first. Okay, they're gone. I think this place needs a new administration. Now this is exactly what we needed. All right, so who's who's actually in this group here? All right, so we took out these guys, got those guys. How's this looking? So now we have to call the common turn. I'm not really sure how to get there. I think I'll just go straight through Germany then. Hmm. What is Germany up to? It is July 1940. Unknown focus, huh? Oh, they're actually allied with the with PewDiePie. Oh, Saudi Arabia died too. Good job, Turkey. Wow. Actually, that's going to probably hurt you. Yeah, that's going to definitely hurt you. Wow, that sucks for you, man. My apologies for losing all these guys. That's not my intention. But it is what it is. And if that's the case, I'm going to grab you guys put you over here. Because holy cow, how many things you got repairing? Too much, not enough. You know, the drill. So we'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and invite Belgium in. Because the Dutch already caved. And we don't want people who cave. So, Belgium. Okay, we'll do these people too. Luxembourg, are they? Are they? They're fighting them already. Oh wait. Okay, Netherlands actually reject our offer. Our help was not wanted. Okay. That is actually something I was not expecting. So let's see if we can do that. And we'll send uh, Ted. Alex Jones got better defense. He's a gorilla. I'm a gorilla. If you know where that's from. All right. Let's see. Fighters, thank you very much, fighters. The unfortunate thing, I hope supply isn't going to just be god awful around here. Belgium's joined a guard. Alright then. Alright, what else? Invite Czechoslovakia. That would put us at war with the Germans immediately. I kind of don't really want to go to war with them, even though we already have our alliance with those other guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, the US is looking pretty good down here. 
At this point, I kind of don't mind getting, you know, Mikey Pence. You get that extra compliance gain, which it doesn't seem like much, but every day, that's, that's not bad. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> We're going to have 89%. Oh, it's Mariana Trench. Leftists International Venezuela. Actually, who do we... Calvary Divisions. Um, uh, no, I think... Actually, anything else around here? Garrison's Brigades. It might just be easier to just convert you guys, actually. Eh, it's going to cost us more, but whatever. There you go. There we go, that's better. Alright, another division, not bad. Alright, please don't die in the water, though, for the love of God, please do not. Trotsky survives an assassination attempt. I might literally just open up the war here, just so that France has a little bit more peace. But then again, if France does lose, that's not very good. Okay, what are you getting hit by? What the heck is going on over here? Please join the Allies, which makes sense. How many people are repairing? Oh, quite a few ships. Holy cow. Alright, are we making any more? No, we're not. Oh my goodness, guys, guys. This is America. All we make are guns. Improved artillery, not bad. Uh, let's see, what else do we want around here? Ah, radar. Ra radar, nuclear tech. Close enough. Same thing, right? Alright, so we got our boys over here. I want you guys over here, too. Because since Belgium's in an alliance, because they joined NATO, which makes sense, I guess. I guess we do have Ireland as well. Yeah, I, it's just not worth going to war until Germany goes to war with them. I'm just waiting at this point for the war between the USSR and Germany to begin. Technology sharing is pretty nice, too. Uh, Chief of the Navy, Marco Rubio. Diane Feinstein. Jesus Christ. Mikey Pence. I gotta get that daily compliance game, man. I helped out so much. Mike Pence plus point one. That ain't much. But hopefully it'll help out. I wouldn't call 4% compliance high compliance game, but whatever. All or nothing armor scheme. We got some big old heavy hulls. Big old heavy thick hulls. Mmm. Nice. Keep making them shippies. Alright, so what are we doing over here? We're hanging out. We're having a good time. Just in case, we're going to do that. And keep an eye on Germany. Actually, uh, can we make the CIA? Rook. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Is that... That's not a good enough name, man. That's really just not a good enough name. In any case, go ahead and train for now. That'd be kind of nice. You guys had to sell down here. We have to go to war with other people. Technology sharing. Netherlands joins... I thought they already joined the Allies. Oh, boy. And naval bombers. That'll be good for carriers. Carrier fire, carrier fire to two. Let's grab some of it. Ah, oh, tanks! Look at that. Kanye West. Oh, God, George Bush. Marco Rubio doesn't have a portrait. Tucker Carlson. It's so cheap, though. Kanye, I got I do, I do Kanye. And then we shall do secure the Middle East. Economic cooperation. How about that? We must form an economic union. Oh, we repaired it. To help our allies during this war. That'd be quite nice for us. So we all get better factories. Man, we built these things so fast. Holy cow. Never enough. Never, ever, ever enough. That's looking pretty good now. Let's get some more tanks. Let's grab some motor more motorized. Let's grab some of this. Let's grab some more of this. And grab some more of this because we might have to go to war with the Japanese. You never know. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, so with these guys fighting up here, right, they might actually go to war. Mm. I don't want to send everyone over here. What's the supply like? Uh, we actually might be able to afford it. Especially since these guys are getting taken out through here. Oh, man. Well, Big Chungus is dead, as we established earlier. Anti-capitalist diplomacy. They're fighting us. They're fighting, yeah, just our faction in general, but... Hmm. How are the Allies doing that? Well, they're not doing too bad, actually. Kind of mopping it up, which is kind of nice for them. Turkey's nice and thick, which gave them some action, which is nice. Anything else around here? Rook is good and all. Department. department. Yes. Okay, so this is becoming one, one normal line. That's okay with me, then. I will send the tanks over, maybe. Because maybe they'll be good for, like, mobile divisions. Regimental combat teams. Let's grab some mechanized offensives as well. Very nice. And they're still training. Ben Shapiro, you're doing a good job training them. Actually, ooh, infantry... Take you out and replace you with some artillery. 
You know, this, this hurt us. It gives us slightly more attack for now. Actually, it doesn't help us that much. It really doesn't help us that much, especially since we're defending. Screw it, no. We're gonna keep, we're gonna stay with what we got for now. Uh, I have to take control of affairs. That's fine. Whatever. You guys actually need more stuff on you. Actually, how many light tanks do we have? 750. Would that be enough? No, it wouldn't. Eh. How much motorized do we have? No, not enough. Just do normal stuff like that. We should be okay with that, right? That's yeah, fine for now. Uh, maintenance support anti tank. We don't have any of that stuff yet, huh? This is not bad. I don't. Military police is actually not that bad. Yeah, it's usually used for suppression, but it gives you more soft attack and defense. We'll try it. How about that? Actually, we'll make these guys 40 combat width. There you go. And throw on a, some real thick boys. And then we'll throw on those guys because we can. And then we'll throw on maintenance companies because I never do that. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alright, Kanye. Hopefully you can make it before Belgium goes to war. Oh, Dutch are trying to hold on. Um, there goes Norway. I guess we could have helped them out too. I'm really just literally waiting for them to go to war with someone else. Uh, how's this coming along? Very nice. Steelworks and uh, stuff. Oh, there goes the Netherlands. Goodbye. Region-wide integration might not be bad. More stability. Weekly manpower. Meh. Alright, so just in case... How are we looking over here? What are they doing? Well, we don't really know. Economy, civilian stuff would be nice. Oh, we can actually get an operative. Nice. Let's do this. In Germany. Germany shouldn't be impossible to take out. It's really the Soviets that are more concerned about. Jonas Jones. Jim Roberts. Unnamed. I kind of like unnamed, but we'll use you first. And are we getting spied on right now? Oh, oh, we got another carrier. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, we got some people doing some bad stuff in our lands. That ain't bueno. Ship designer, naval company. Aw, oh, yeah. Economic cooperation. After that, we shall do... What should we do? Hmm. Dismantle fascism. Probably do that one. Fascism is not that great. It's time to denounce them. 70 days to denounce fascism. That's kind of a long time, I'd say, but that's okay. Eventually, we will secure the Middle East. We'll get a puppet goal, huh? Puppeting them? That's okay. I mean, it's not great, but economic cooperation? No, that's great. Teddy's making America great after what Trump did. Because who's, who's do, trying to do it first? All right, what else we miss in here? Rubber? Yeah, that's not enough for me to really care about that. All right. So I really, really want to know what they're up to. Hmm. Got about a million manpower in the field. Because uh, if we go to war with them and we win the war against these guys, then that just means, like, they don't have to deal with the Soviets invading everything, flooding through everything. Hmm. Could we hold out against the Germans right now? Oh, they're not even on our border. Oh, there goes Communist China. Soviet Union. Oh, wow. I don't really focus on the. the Japanese at all. Seriously, how are the Italians doing? Like, are they doing... Uh, eh, they're doing okay. Economy civilian. Army department. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, even more divisions. Another operative. Good. Maybe you should pull a safe cracker. Why not? Let's grab some more technology. It is almost 1941 anyways. Let's grab some of that because you can. Let's grab some more output. Nice. Alright, so you're done with that army too. Do I want to be surrounded on all sides? Well, we basically will be already. How much manpower does Germany have? That's not that's not a lot little. Funk, Goebbels, Bowman. Dragging us dragging us into a war against Italy is not a terrible thing. Just not a great thing. Throw some towards Kanye. There you go. Now how about fighters? Uh, uh, nav ones aren't bad either. Here, I'll let you throw them into here too. Oh, what do we got? More dockyards. Remaining during the Axis. Getting Carol abdicates. It's fine. Whatever. We don't really care right now. 
Yeah, pur purpose. Portipus. Yeah, I'll go with more screens for now. Screens are always useful. Incredibly useful, actually. Uh, I'm going to make another task force as well. That'd be kind of good. After that, what else we got? Nope, we're still good there. And... It's 1941. Hopefully they go to war. Germany and the Soviets. We could blow the Panama Canal, which would be kind of a waste for us. Reconcile them into the village. Poor private property. Mm, invite. We could go to war with them. Just no, it's just not worth it, man. It's just not worth it. 40s, though. Oh, there goes France. Now, if we joined the war, we'd be completely surrounded, which would really suck. Wow, that is... That fall of Paris. That is a little ugly, not gonna lie. Lucas Evans is a smoocher. That's the flight of Rudolf Hess. Goodbye, Rudolf Hess. Could become a spy master. Might as well. Goodbye, Luxembourg. Well, I'd hate to be Belgium right now. Then again, I'd hate to be the American division stuck here right now, too. This is looking not too good. Let's grab some of this as well. That'd be good. Right. But happy 1941, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's grab some of you. Thank you. Thank you. And another army. Because we can. Kamala Harris, Donald Trump Jr., George Bush, Dick Cheney. Oh, God. Um, I guess Kamala Harris. I guess... I don't know about her offensive capabilities, but, you know... She's going to be trading blows with anybody. Might as well be the enemy? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I want more factories. That's just pretty much it. You guys still doing okay over there. Okay, so Germany, it's 41. They're doing rocketry. We figured out what they're doing. So, let's go read one more focus, and then maybe we'll speed up the game a little bit more, since we're not doing too much at the current moment. Lead democracies, that's kind of boring. Democracies? Eh. What if we were to instead secure the Middle East? We can't trust those territories in the Middle East, or them terrorists in the Middle East. We must attack them before they attack us. Absolutely. Well, everyone, it is March 25th, 1942, in which I've done a few more focuses, currently doing Leading the World. America's the greatest country. We must lead this world to greatness, which was almost done. I've also done a better navy. We need a better navy. A better air force. We need a better air force. Better ships. We need better ships. Uh, and I've also done better artillery, which we need some better artillery. Now, it's 1942. Not much has gone on. Germany's gone to war with uh, the good folks at the Soviet Union, which is, you know, good for us. Doesn't matter to me too much. Better tanks. Let's get some better planes eventually. We don't have a lot more focuses to go through, but we could eliminate communism, but we're kind of already at war with those folks. We have maxed out stability, so let's go and do some better planes. We need better planes. Go to double bonus, and I've also... Double bonus for a light aircraft. I just At this point, I want a little bit more action. These guys are killing each other quite nicely, but I think we could do this a little bit more effectively. They're doing a lot of damage, we see here. About a thousand people every day, at least. For the Soviets, 200,000 are dead in Germany. They have 630 divisions max versus 537, which isn't bad. If we give it some time, though, the Soviets might just die. Because uh, you never know. And I spent a, actually sent quite a few spies over here as well to Germany. So we can literally see everything they're doing. Now, we could go to war with Italy, because why not? I might just want to take them out for funsies. And Germany isn't doing too bad. they got plenty of artillery, plenty of infantry equipment. Not so sure about the Russians, but of course Russia has more than enough manpower. Germany... Well, they're an all adult serve. British Malay is gone. Actually, the Japanese took out the Philippines. But the, they weren't actually our puppets, so... I guess we're not really going to be focusing on these guys. Ganap, Philippines. And, J and China capitulated to Japan, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, wow. That is a big faction up there. we got some light tanks going on, which is very, very nice. Let's grab some medium tanks as well. Maybe improve uh, the current condition of our current light tanks. You know, I do just want to like look and see what's going on. Oh, the allies. That's a lot of dead. That's a lot of dead Italians, too. Yeah, the Allies without me there, without the U.S., not doing a great job. That's all right. German-Nicaraguan War. Yeah, I don't know. This, the Germans are doing pretty darn well. Turkey, okay, that's not something I was not expecting. Turkey joining the Allies. Uh, we have our people over here, too. Hmm. I think I want to go to war with Italy anyways. I don't, I don't want to wait any longer, I'll be honest, man. I just want to get in there and have a good old time. Oh, Dutch East Indies, how sad. But we're also building the wall. So we're actually almost done building the wall as well, which is quite impressive, I would say. Regardless, let us have a good time. We did get someone imprisoned, which is a bad thing. But let's go to war with these guys if we can. Can we still go to war? Yes, we can. Thank you very much. Potential enemies? Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't want to go to war with those guys. When is this justification or independence guaranteed by done? 
Hmm. They did take out the Dutch. Form the Rex Commissariat. Do I want to fight the Japanese? Honestly, I don't really feel like it. I really don't feel like naval invading over there. So, basically, what we're going to have to do is kind of watch the Soviets actually try to win. Because even though we want to see them die and all, I don't think we really, we really want to do much for them. So, you could buy more rubber from anyone else. Brazil, uh, UK. Oh, how about the UK? Why not? There we go. But yeah, I mean, the Germans are slowly pushing in. If the Germans do win, that's actually kind of beneficial for us. Because then we'll have a peace deal between us and uh, those guys. Oh, we, got, ooh, we rescued the person. Nice. Good job, guys. And we're also doing passive defense because we can. So here we're at, really. Not much else is going on. Uh, we're getting better plans. We'll read one more focus before we're done here because the Germans are just going ham against these guys, including, I guess, Svea Reich. Even though they're not in the war, they're just kind of hanging out. So it is what it is. Alright, I really don't want to go to war with Japan. I really don't feel like it, man. Alright, so 1.32 million. That's not bad. Of course, the more territory they do take, the worse it becomes. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll definitely see what happens. We're making some subs. It's a little bit ahead of time, but let's go and make some of these better subs as well. And Yugoslavia, obviously, is gone, as well as Greece. Free France, Turkey. It's a good thing Turkey actually joined the Allies. It gives them a lot more fuel. And it gives them direct access up into here, which would not be bad. Ooh. I wish the Soviets did not go to war with us. That really sucks. Now, for you guys. If I want to go to war with you guys, you are guaranteed by Japan, as well as them. Do I want to fight Japan? How strong is Japan? Japan is probably pretty darn strong. Not bad. A lot of divisions. Pretty beefy navy. I haven't really focused on my divisions at all guarding my port, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. We got some more passive defense, though. Get some anti-partisan stuff. And the Soviets are slowly getting pushed back. Hmm. Hmm. Let's grab some more entrenchments, shall we? Not a bad idea. Anything else around here? Because I did make... Ooh, gar garrison brigades. Yeah, that's a pretty g good, useful division. Cavalry divisions. You know what? We got enough for this. Let's make them 20 combat width. I'm going to make some of these right now. Why? So that we can put them as garrisons for now. Four is not going to be enough. We're going to need like 25 eventually. So we are running out of places to build stuff. Holy cow. Um, we're right. we're, we, really, we really are. Wow. Alright, well, let's build up a bunch of naval dockyards. That'd be kind of beneficial, I would say. And do boom, 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 boom. And then a lot of boom, boom up there. Oh, yeah, we have also this area, too. Uh, go to this, too. Yeah, I forgot about this. There you go. Loads of dockyards all over the place. And roads. Never want to forget them roads. Roads are key to the future. Maybe. Hey, look. Nice. Now, that's an independence is guaranteed. Because, actually, did they do... Can we see? We can see their entire focus tree. Nice. They already did around the Maginot. So they can technically go to war with Belgium. They just choose not to. Which is obviously something that we don't want. Hmm. I don't think anyone's... They could go to war with Switzerland. Ah, Soviets, please win the war here, man. I think they will eventually win the war. But let's end the episode with another focus and... I'll read a few more things, and then we'll have one episode after this in which we will clean up the Germans and Soviet em Soviet Empire? Soviet Union. Better doctrine. We need a better doctrine, of course. And I'll read a few more, because it'll push us ahead in time. Better weapons will be good. We'll also do protectionism. We must protect our economy. And we'll also do lead the democracies. But I hope you enjoyed this very first half of us. Well, we were led by Donald Trump, and now led by Teddy Roosevelt. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When we'll wrap up this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.